people running up there is not going to be easy. You're going to be out of breath unless you're an absolute beast. Uh, but yeah, when you get to the top, give yourself 30 seconds, catch your breath, and then go for 20 press ups. 20 My time to run up a check, no time for your girl, she a scared. My chick be a 10 out of 10, if life don't care about the rest. My time to run up a check, no time for your girl, she a scared. My chick be a 10 out of 10, if life don't care about the rest. Oh, f sick. Yeah, I've seen way too much stress in my life, and that's why it's been too long to the next. Oh. Dipping from blue lights, avoiding the rest. Oh, cracking, bro. As always. So this video is how I'm training and how I'm preparing for basic training in the British Army. Um, I've had quite a few comments, people asking how I'm training, what sort of training I'm doing, so I thought I'd just make a quick video. Um, I also had quite a lot of people asking me how I was training for selection um, and how, more specifically how I was training for the bleep test. So if you want a video based on how you can train and prepare to pass the bleep test comfortably, um, drop a like on the video and 200 likes, yeah 200 likes and I'll make a video dedicated completely to how you can train specifically for the bleep test. But before I start chatting loads of crap on how I've been training for basic training, I need to go train. Hey, hey, look, G.I. Joe, my niggas ready to blow. Wall up on niggas and I gotta go. Ice on my neck, ain't cut from the stove. Shorty and whore, but I call her hoe. I feel like SWAT, I kick in your dough. I can't pick one, so I bought them both. Man, I'm cold, I bought me a coat. Dripping, I bought me a boat. G.I. Joe, my niggas ready to blow. Roll up on niggas, then I gotta go. Ice on my neck, ain't cut from the stove. Shorty and whore, but I call her hoe. I feel like SWAT, I kick in your dough. I can't pick one, so I bought them both. Man, I'm so cold, I bought me a gun. Dripping, I bought me a boat. I feel like Steph, I feel like Dwayne. Ballin' no niggas, got ice in my veins. Got a couple hoes, I don't got a main. Niggas be tough until you feel pain. Hop in that jet, I don't like planes. Shawty stupid, so she ain't give me brain. I get money, so I don't complain. Niggas get happy when they get a chain. Niggas be lame, nothing to explain. Gotta show niggas that it's not a game. Hop in that wheel, I'm by the switch lanes. I'm at the top, man, I gotta maintain. Spitting heat, man, I need propane. Got a baddie, but she drive me insane Chasing my goals, I'm playing for Spain Niggas fake, tell me what do you gain, yeah Feel like G.I. Joe, dripping so I bought a boat It's a lot of hating niggas, so that Glock I got a toe We don't do one-on-ones, jump a nigga like a rope They can't take me out the game, better pray you better hope yeah. G.I. Joe, my niggas ready to blow Roll up on and in today's video, <laughs> G.I. Joe, my niggas ready to blow. Wall up on niggas and I gotta go. Ice on my neck, ain't cut from the stove. Shorty a whore, but I call her hoe. I feel like SWAT, I kick in your dough. I can't pick one, so I bought them both. Man, I'm cold, I bought me a coat. Dripping, I bought me a boat. G.I. Joe, my niggas ready to blow. Roll up on niggas and I gotta go. Ice on my neck, ain't cut from the stove. Shorty a whore, but I call her hoe. I feel like SWAT, I kick in your dough. I can't pick one, so I bought them both. Man, I'm so cold, I bought me a gun Drippin', I bought me a bow I feel like Steph, I feel like Dwayne Ballin' no niggas, got ice in my veins Got a couple hoes, I don't got a main Niggas be tough, until you feel pain Hop in that jet, I don't like planes Shawty stupid, so she ain't give me brain I get money, so I don't complain Niggas get happy when they get a chain Niggas be lame, nothing to explain Gotta show niggas that it's not a game Hop in that wheel, I'm by the switch lanes I'm at the top, man, I gotta maintain Spittin' heat, man, I need propane Got a baddie, but she drive me insane Chasing my goals, I'm playing for Spain Niggas fake, tell me what do you gain, yeah Feel like G.I. Joe, dripping so I bought a boat It's a lot of hating niggas, so that Glock I got a toe We don't do one-on-ones, jump a nigga like a rope They can't take me out the game, better pray you better hope G.I. Joe, my niggas ready to blow Roll up on niggas and I gotta go Ice on my neck, ain't cut from the stove Shorty a whore, but I call I feel like SWAT, I kick it.
in your dough I can't pick one, so I bought them both Man, I'm cold, I bought me a coat Drippin', I bought me a boat G.I. Joe, my niggas ready to blow Roll up on niggas, then I gotta go Ice on my neck, ain't care from the stove Shorty a whore, but I call her hoe I feel like swat, I kick in your dough I can't pick one, so I bought them both Man, I'm so cold, I bought me a coat Drippin', I bought me a boat I feel like Steph, I feel like Dwayne Ballin' no niggas, got ice in my veins Got a couple hoes, I don't got a main Niggas be tough, until you feel pain Hop in that jet, I don't like planes Shawty stupid, so she ain't give me brain I get money, so I don't complain Niggas get happy when they get a chain Niggas be lame, nothing to explain Gotta show niggas that it's not a game Hop in that wheel, I'm by the switch lanes I'm at the top, man, I gotta maintain Spitting heat, man, I need propane Got a baddie, but she drive me insane Chasing my goals, I'm playing for Spain Niggas fake, tell me what do you gain Yeah, feel like G.I. Joe Drippin', so I bought a boat It's a lot of hating niggas so that Glock, I got a toe We don't do one-on-ones Jump a nigga like a rope They can't take me out the game Better pray, you better hold G.I. Yeah. Joe, my niggas ready to blow Roll up on niggas and I gotta go Ice on my neck, ain't cut from the stove Shorty a whore, but I call her hoe I feel like SWAT, I kick in your dough I can't pick one, so I bought them both Man, I'm cold, I bought me a coat Drippin', I bought me a boat G.I. Joe, my niggas ready to blow so that's training done. So that session there today, all that was, uh, it's just a circuit, one I do quite often as well actually. Um, it was just 10 pull-ups, 10 hanging leg raises, 20 press-ups, 20 crunches, and a lap of the football pitch. Um, 90 seconds in between exercises, and three minutes in between sets. So that times five, so five sets of that. So it is a good session, one you can do as well. Um, good session to do going into the army. It is, it is a hard session, it's a tough session, I won't, I won't lie to you. Um, but it's one pretty much anybody can do if you can just find a football pitch or even just somewhere you can do some pull-ups on. If you find five sets not too uncomfortable, what you could do is drop your recovery down in between the exercises down to 60 seconds instead of 90 seconds. And that should make it a good bit tougher to be fair. Um, but yeah, as I said, it's a, it's a great circuit. Um, obviously we're combining cardio along with muscular endurance. There's pull exercises, push exercises, along with engaging your core. So yeah, that's one of many great sessions you can do heading into basic training before you go to cat trick or wherever you're going for your phase one basic training. Most of my training now um, are weighted runs. I've got a 20 kg weighted vest right over there. Um, I'll show you what. This is the vest, 20 kg, obviously quite tough when you're going for a run when you whack it on but you do get used to it i've been going for 2k runs with the weighted vest on i've been going for 5.2 mile runs with the weighted vest on um if you want if you really want to push it and go for an hard session with weight do some hill sprints with a you won't be able to sprint but yeah whack 20 kg on if you haven't got a vest obviously i think that was 60 quid online if you haven't got a vest literally just chug a backpack on whack some things in there weigh it up to 20 kg um and go for a run without on nice and simple bob is your uncle you haven't got to go spending 60 quid on the vest. You can just literally put a backpack on. I just wanted a vest because it makes things easier. So yeah, there are other sessions I've done. So long distance runs with the 20 kg weighted vest on, and obviously shorter ones as well. Another good, tough, beneficial session you can do going into phase one training um, is just find a hill. The hill I use um, is when we used to run when I was in military college called the Heartbreak Hill. Um, just find a hill, relatively steep, you want it quite steep because you want it to be hard. The one I use is about 200 meters, I'd say roughly going up. Run up the hill, when you get to the top of the hill, give yourself 30 seconds just to catch your breath. Obviously a 200 meter steep hill running up there is not going to be easy, you're going to be out of breath unless you're an absolute beast. Uh, but yeah, when you get to the top, give yourself 30 seconds, catch your breath and then go for 20 press ups, 20 sit ups and then get back down, your, get back down there for your recovery. Shouldn't take you too long to walk back down. That's enough time to recover. I think that's a reasonable time to recover. And that's a set. So you run at the top of the hill, 30 seconds, catch your breath, 20 press ups, 20 sit ups, get back down there, go again. Go for as many sets as you can. Make it hard, but it's going to be tough. It's a tough session. It's a tough one that I do anyway. I find it tough. So there's plenty of good sessions you can do with hills. Um, moving on from hills, obviously, we've, rough, we've touched on cardio with weight. Um, obviously just to improve your general cardio cardiovascular system just go for long runs but don't go for a long run where you're not out of breath where you just go and run six miles and you could talk the whole time you're singing with your music with your earphones in make it tough get yourself out of breath go at least 80 percent effort better yet go 100 percent effort obviously if you're going on a six mile run and you're not pushing yourself to a point where you're not <laughs> 
struggling to catch your breath, all that's really good for is your mileage. You're just gonna get better at running for longer distances, but you're not necessarily gonna see your times coming down. That's just good for mileage. That just basically means you're gonna be able to run eight, nine, 10 miles. If you're doing that continuously regularly over the week and you're building up your weekly mileage, you're just gonna see your long distance runs feeling more comfortable on your body. So obviously doing that isn't really gonna benefit your overall time. Long, longer distance runs are just gonna feel more comfortable because your weekly mileage is gonna be higher. You've got that muscle memory in your body for the longer distance runs, it's gonna feel more comfortable, but you're not necessarily gonna get your times down because you're not running at faster paces to get you more out of breath, essentially, is the long, short of the long story. So yeah, cardio is quite straightforward. If you wanna improve your cardio, go for a long, hard, fast run. Uh, moving on from cardio though, if you wanna improve your speed endurance, so if you wanna get faster at your two kilometer run or shorter distances, not necessarily sprinting, but running at a very fast pace and how long you can endure that speed. A good session you can do to get your two kilometer run time down, you could do five times 800 meter reps. In between the reps, you could do three minutes recovery. Obviously you can alter that depending on your level of fitness. Um, run the 800 meter reps at your two kilometer pace. So whatever time, whatever you're aiming for as a PB, obviously you need to be realistic. Don't try like knocking like two minutes off if you're not running anywhere near that time. Run these five 800 meter reps at your desired two kilometer pace. Say for example, your two kilometer personal best is nine minutes and you wanna get down to 8.40. Run these five 800 meter reps at 8.40 pace for two kilometers. Have three minutes recovery in between and that's the session done, it'll be tough. But overall, you would have run four kilometers at your two kilometer pace. If you wanna get better at pull-ups, you wanna get better at press-ups, do more pull-ups and do more press-ups. Nah, I'm only joking. Obviously, say for example, your personal best for pull-ups is eight. You could do five sets of 50% of your personal best on pull-ups. So you could do five sets of four pull-ups and you'll notice your pull-ups getting higher. Exactly the same for push-ups. So say you wanna get better at your push-ups. The most push-ups you can do in one burst, your personal best on a best effort is say 30. Do five sets of 15 press-ups and obviously bring in some progressive overload as you get better, as you get better with your pull-ups, as you get better with your press-ups. Start building those numbers up. I gotta pump those numbers up. Those are rookie numbers. Start bringing your sets up, start bringing your recovery times down, start bringing your reps up, obviously, as you get better. So those are a few examples of sessions you can do, obviously improving your press-ups, pull-ups, your runs, your long runs, your shorter runs. Obviously, there's a, more, there's a multitude of things you can do to obviously improve in different ways. Those are just a couple. I've got my phase one training now coming up on the 25th of March. I did say in my last video um, that my start date was the 28th of March and obviously I'm joining the Royal Irish Rangers. Um, they've moved my start date now. They've moved it to the 25th. So um, not sure what's happening there or why they've moved it. I've also got to go back to Litchfield um, to do another ECG because they messed that up. So I am being mucked about a little bit. Quite annoying, but it's just part of the process. This whole process has just absolutely flown by. The whole application, the selection, everything's just come so fast. And obviously, if you're watching this and you're applying, it does go fast. So don't slack on your training. Go 100%, uh, but don't overtrain, obviously. Um, yeah, my first video was three months ago. This will be the fifth video now, and we're coming up to 500 subscribers, which is absolutely nuts. I, I, I did not expect that so on, like five videos in. I was thinking I'll probably get like, I'll be lucky to get 100 views five videos in, nearly 20,000 channel views. I'm not too asked about the channel views really. I'm more so first on the subscribers because they're the people I appreciate and they're the people that really support the channel. So if you're subscribed, you're an absolute diamond, thank you. And if you're not subscribed, please do consider subscribing. But yeah, I've just been so humbled and surprised by the amount of support I've had just like so early on in. Um, so if you are one of those people that subscribe, I appreciate you big time. If you're not subscribed yet, please do whack that subscribe button down below um, and please like the video as well. As I said, if this video gets 200 likes, I will make a video um, based on how you can train specifically for the bleed test so you can pass selection. If you have any questions based on training for phase one training or you have any advice for me going in, um, please whack it down in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. Um, I, I do reply to every comment. Follow me on Instagram as well. I'm quite active on there, to be fair. Ryan Drip in 99. Um, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for this one, to be fair. So um, thanks for watching. My son. And if I went pen, are you waiting for me? What's the grace? What's the